that'll be the last time he messes with the logistics droid. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was there. Pardon the disarray. My room had an unscheduled visit from a stormtrooper. But guess who handled him? Did you? Yes, it was me. Well, actually, the stormtrooper tripped over me while I was hiding. But still, a thrilling victory. Now, I've been hearing some unbelievable rumors about last evening's events in the atrium. What happened out there? Uh, there was a there was a big fight. <laughs> on board the Halcyon herself. How did it feel to be there for that fight? It was pretty exciting. It certainly sounds like it. I'm just glad the battle is over. You know, in some ways, this journey has been a bit out of control, but also it's been remarkable. What part of this trip will you remember most? Uh, the people I've met. It's true. I found that the greatest memories are from the relationships we make. <sighs> now, what will I remember most? Well, you. Do you realize the impact you've had? No. But you did so much. You broke into the Halcyon systems to find information about the Resistance. And you helped the Resistance on that too. The more I think about it, if you weren't here, I wouldn't have made it through this. Do you know what I learned from you this voyage? What did you learn? I think, I think you taught me that a hero can come from anywhere. When we first met, this was supposed to be a luxury voyage to the Outer Rim. But then, you helped me stand up to that stormtrooper. And helped me believe in myself. Which is why I want to say from the very core of my programming, thank you. Well, thank you. I promise that even if I live another 200 cycles, I won't forget what you've done for me. But now I'm afraid our time together is almost over. Aww. So, before we part ways, can I offer you anything like a bedtime story or a lullaby? Bedtime story? Bedtime this story. is a story you may be familiar with, but not many in the galaxy have heard the true version, which was carefully researched by some of my fellow droids. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Excellent. Uh, it's a story about one of the greatest heroes in galactic history. Someone brave, selfless, and clever who defeated the Empire almost entirely by himself. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Please know that you can stop me at any time by simply turning off my panel. Don't worry, I won't be offended. Now, let's begin. Not that long ago, there was a great civil war. The Galactic Empire was doing its utmost to inspire fear and discord throughout the galaxy. But, as is the case so often, when you find bullies, you find the brave people who stand up to them. Those were the rebels. And this story starts just after they had won their first important battle against the Empire. It was during this battle that spies stole secret plans for the Empire's terrible weapon, the Death Star. Despite being pursued by Darth Vader, the rebels entrusted the plans to one of their greatest leaders, someone fierce, witty, and beautiful. That's right, R2-D2. So, as stormtroopers attacked his ship, R2 boldly rolled through weapon fire and along with his fearless companion, C-3PO, blasted off the rebel ship in an escape pod. He landed on the dangerous desert world of Tatooine, where he and C-3PO wisely decided to split up to increase their odds of finding help. But when R2 realized he wasn't making enough progress, he hatched a dangerous scheme, allowing himself to be captured by local Jawa traders. Thankfully, R2's plan worked perfectly, and he and C-3PO were quickly reunited and sold to a young local moisture farmer. 
But, unfortunately, a restraining bolt was placed on Artu in the process. Knowing that the entire galaxy was resting on his metal shoulders, Artu tricked the moisture farmer into removing his restraining bolt. And then, wishing to protect the naive farmer from his dangerous task, set off boldly into the desert in the middle of the night, looking for an old companion of his from the Clone Wars named Obi-Wan Kenobi. Artu had nearly reached his contact when the foolish moisture farmer arrived and got himself attacked by sand people. Artu carefully hid from the sand people, staying safe until Obi-Wan arrived. Having reached his ally, Artu quickly showed him the complete rebel message, and Artu and Obi-Wan agreed to take the moisture farmer with them and train him in their ways. They soon hired a ship called the Millennium Falcon to take them to Alderaan where Artu's secret plans could be delivered. Unfortunately, the Empire reached Alderaan first, destroying the planet with their horrible Death Star. Cornered and trapped, R2 had the brilliant idea to hide under the ship's floorboards and allow the Falcon to be boarded, bringing him into the belly of the Death Star itself. Once inside, R2 wheeled into action, finding a computer terminal and gaining direct access to the Death Star's mainframe. This allowed him to discover that an important rebel leader, Princess Leia Organa, was being held on board. R2 then directed his companions to launch a rescue mission, with R2 providing crucial support by slicing into the Death Star systems and helping them escape. With the princess secured, R2 and his crew successfully left the Death Star and joined the rest of the rebels on Yavin 4. R2's mission was complete. He had delivered the Death Star plans, and no one could have blamed him for taking a much-deserved break. But no, this shiny hero soldiered on, agreeing to take part in a dangerous assault on the Death Star itself. Along with the moisture farmer, who served as an organic co-pilot and assistant, R2 flew his X-Wing fighter to the Death Star. Their target was a tiny exhaust port on the exterior of the mighty battle station. As they approached the port, R2 was struck and badly injured by blaster fire. But still he continued, and together with some help from the moisture farmer, R2's X-Wing fired a proton torpedo that destroyed the Death Star. Yay. The rebels celebrated. And after R2 was rejuvenated with fresh parts, he humbly refused to accept a medal for his actions, choosing instead to watch from the sidelines as his organic companions received awards for their work assisting him on his fateful mission. The end. What did you think? That was wonderful. Well, thank you so much for listening to that story. It's one of my favorites, and I know most of the other droids on board love it as well. Now... I'm afraid it's getting quite late. I really should let you begin your sleep cycle. Until then, best journey.